So, you want to be tactical. You want to make your gun look Gucci. Foregrip, silencer, sight unit. What else can we put on there, Uncle Para? You can put on a tactical flashlight from New Pro. Let's jump in and let's get tactical. Right, so let's see what we actually get in the box. Here it is. This is the New Pro Illumination NX Series Tactical Light. And you can see down at the bottom here, this is the large tan version, the 600. And it looks like it comes in tan, short, black as well on the different colours. NX 600. Uh, a little bit spiel. Please read the fitting instructions inside. There's not going to be a huge lot of instructions in this. But anyway, let's get this bad boy opened and we shall have a look. Unboxing videos. Whoever thought that this would become popular on tube? Certainly not me. But anyway, let's get this out. And here we are. Let's get the box to the side. Let's make it all nice and neat, Parry. Make it nice and neat so everybody can see what we're getting. So in the box we get uh, silica gel and it looks like there's two pieces of Velcro in there. That may be for you to be able to stick these onto the rail system here and then put the wire through if you want it nice and tidy. But that's probably what that's going to be for, so we'll put that there. We get one instruction manual. It's probably going to be an erdy gurdy in every other bloody language. Uh, let's have a look. Undo the thumb screw. Yes. Stick on weapon. Turn on. Not a huge amount of stuff to be looked at in here, really. It's all pretty much straightforward. We are tactical, so this is the thing that we're here to look at today. Comes in this little foam plastic, whatever it is, thingy me bob. And in the box, or in the plastic, should we say, we get one of these. Basically, if you don't want the pressure plate on here, you can use one of these normal ones, and it's just a click on click off but we're going to be tactical so we don't want this so fuck off we want to have a look at this one let's put that to the side so here she is this is the new pro nx 6000 l the short being a little shorter one and it's quite a nice thing it's quite heavy it's got the pressure plate here to turn it on and off so we can be proper tactical now when we actually put this on the weapon and underneath there is just a basic rail system there. We'll go on a Picatinny rail on the bottom there. Uh, nothing to adjust at the front here. It is literally just an on or off. And at the back here, we've got the connector. And I know from looking at this before, that it's got a really nice, smooth, almost feels kind of oily feel to it. For the connector on here, it's not like rough. It's really smooth and it's really... It feels like a quality piece, if that makes sense. So this is where the batteries go in here. Now, you don't get any batteries with this, and I expected this to be a normal AA battery, but it's not. I shall tell you what sort of battery this is. It is... Insert one NX600S or two NX600L 3 volt batteries, not included, negative end first. So we don't get the batteries with this bad boy, which is a little bit frustrating. So we'll have to get ourselves up to local shop. This thing is waterproof. Let's screw that back on. And obviously it's entirely up to you whether which side you want that on because it's going to be mounted this way or that way. So probably on our warthog here, we shall probably mount this somewhere around there so that when we come to do the pressure plate actually where are we going to put the pressure plate i may have to put the pressure plate on the other side let's flip her over i may end, end up putting the light on this side here threading the pressure mount onto the other side and having that here and then we'll bind that up with the tape so that when we actually hold this we've got a nice grip there so I'll mount that on the weapon and we shall have a look at that and then I shall also get some batteries and then we shall have a look at what that looks like but you get a rough idea I know it's upside down there but you get a rough idea of what that's going to look like very tactical very Gucci let's go get a battery 
and then I shall test it. Chuck tickle. Ooh. Blind the enemy. What's down there? Tactical PMC. So as my weapon is actually key mod rail, as you can see here with a Picatinny on the top, it means that the actual grip on the bottom is not going to fit. So what I've done is I've added an adapter here. This is a key mod to Picatinny adapter. And you can get these for four or five pounds, they're not a lot, and I've just attached this onto the front. Meaning now with this grip on the bottom, this mount, it should go straight on like so. And we can adjust this wherever we want and simply just tighten this bolt up at the bottom. And there we go, that's attached now directly to the front of the weapon. Of course, you can adjust this for anywhere you want. And this, I'm probably going to thread through the bottom here onto the other side and mount it so that this wire isn't all over the place. And so there it is mounted on the actual weapon. You can see this is just the waterproof cover here. And I've mounted that directly up to the front there and it is on that little adapter that we mentioned before, which is the key mod to the Picatinny rail. Now the wire, I've actually looped straight through these large gaps on the bottom of the weapon there. And if we flip this over, as you can see, here it is. I've actually looped the wires straight through there, straight through the bottom, straight up to the front here. And I've mounted this on with a little bit of industrial strength uh, Velcro or any other brand that you can get because the actual thing that actually came with it was very weak so this is industrial strength velcro under there meaning that when i'm holding the foregrip here i've got good access with my thumb to the wire you could actually probably mount this the other way around so this wire isn't in the way but it's no actual issue really when you're actually using it so here you can see on the screen this is where i actually ended up mounting it so that i can actually press this with my thumb but because this is really subjective on where you actually want it you could even have this on the pistol grip on the right hand side if you felt there was a place where it was convenient for you looks very nice it's gucci it looks great but there is a negative to this light i'm sorry new pro but you need to engineer this a little bit better. The wire at the back where this actually enters from the pressure plate to the torch is, in Uncle Parra's words, fucking shite. You heard me. I know somebody else who's got one of these, and if you slightly touch it or knock it, the light goes off and you're constantly fa fannying around with it, trying to get it to work. It's just not acceptable. You must have known about these before you shipped them out, so fuck you! 40 quid. <clears throat> but if you're looking for a light from New Pro, then this is available. <laughs> it looks good. You know, I haven't touched wood. I've only had one problem with this, but I know somebody else who's absolutely sick to death of it and wants to stomp on it. So frustrating. So buy this at your own will. There may be a way to mount it up or tape it up at the back so it's constantly pushed in properly and the little pin inside is constantly in contact. But this is something for you to be aware of. So that's my review of the new Pro Light. You may get a good one. You may get a good one out of the box, but it's going to be Russian roulette. Just keep your receipt and be prepared to take this back. I will be looking at getting a PEC unit and something else, and I might even get an M203 M203 launch if I can get my words out to Gucci this little bastard up. But we'll see about that in another video. Thanks for watching. Having para plays. Sat here, down to get my hands on the Nintendo Switch and Zelda, but I bloody can't afford it. Who? My ears off shit again. See you in another video soon. Bye-bye.